saw herself and she was like, hot damn. Truly my day starts whenever Cookie decides that she is ready to start harassing me. Well, the truth about my life is that I wake up, I simply cannot see anything, <laughs> like nothing. My vision is horrific and if you were an optometrist, you would be scared. Happy Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. One of my favorite sounds in the entire world, like I don't know about ASMR, I don't feel the tingles ever, but the sound of my contact sticking to my eye just does something for me. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, that's the spot. The only thing that I learned from going to an actual university and living in a dorm with a communal bathroom is how to put my contacts in without a mirror because I can't be walking to the bathroom down the hall when I can't even see two feet in front of me. So it created a lot of growth for me. Every day I get a willing visitor. Does he look like Hailey Bieber or, or like Tana? Hey guys, I'm about to go get <laughs> paparazzi by the Hollywood Fix. And shout out to Meow Mix for the grub. So happy I was born a double-headed twin. Oh god, oh god, you can see her. She's prowling. She knows the drawer. The thing that keeps me going is how happy Cookie gets when I bring out the Meow Mix. Ooh. This is what I eat for breakfast, too. She knows the highly populated areas. Vlogmas day one, ladies and gentlemen. Step. Woo! I am inventing fashion right now. Look at this. Wow, somebody call the bachelorette. I am on my way to be the new girl. So there is an employee here that I love. <laughs> I swear to God, this guy, I think about him multiple times a day because he is always so ecstatic at like eight in the morning. I can't even get to the octaves of how excited he is. Like he makes me so happy to be alive and I literally strive to be him one day. So he takes the orders over the thing and he's like, Oh, welcome to Starbucks. I always want to meet him. And then once I get to the window, it's always a different person serving the drinks. So he's really just like a voice in my head that lives in my head all day, <laughs> rent free. Literally never seen this person in my life. Oh my God, okay, please be my favorite guy. Please, please, please. Hi there, thanks for choosing Starbucks. Hopefully I have time for you. Can I do a grande cold brew with sugar-free vanilla? Can I also do a finish and feta wrap? Yeah, one finish feta, anything else? Uh, that's it. Thank you so much. It wasn't my dude, my dudes, but she was kind and I liked her. You know what's really sus? is that your phone, the face ID, can unlock if you're wearing sunglasses, but not if you're wearing a mask. But wouldn't you think that the eyes say more than the mouth when it comes to like your facial recognition? I have questions, Apple, I really do. I have skepticisms, I have questions. If you're looking at this and you're like, ooh, cold brew with sugar-free vanilla, Starbucks recommendation, I'm telling you right now, it tastes like absolute shit. Sometimes when I order it, they like, question it because I think they know that like it's a little whack but it's the most effective grande drink that you can consume in my opinion you will be booming for at least seven to eight hours and because once you get the milk dilating it then you're like drinking half milk so you don't get as much caffeine so I just keep it compact I take it with bravery thank you for tuning in and Good morning. Oh my God, we're nearing an event. I'm a businesswoman. I'm about to take a business call with a psychiatrist. What kind of business are you in? I'm in the mental business, baby. And by that, I mean I give them all of my money. Here's the agenda, okay? As soon as I'm done talking to Dr. Hollis, I'm gonna get ready. And then I think that Rylan and I are gonna go test fast food holiday milkshakes because the holiday milkshakes should be out. Holiday season, kids. No rules apply anymore. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Good morning. Today we are waiting for our special Vlogmas day one guest. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know if we go till Christmas or New Year's, but at least 25 days in a row of videos. <laughs> We are going strong. We are one day in. I'm gonna do our best. Ooh, are you allowed to vlog and drive? I really think that, oh my God. Oh my God, this lady's sneezing. Oh, bless you, Susan. God bless you, girl. 
Oh. Hello. Welcome to Vlogmas Day One. Woo. And I wore my Christmas sweater for this. Brought my hand sanitizer in my oh, mask. Oh, I brought my Lysol wipes. I don't know if you can be trusted to drive and talk. <laughs> I guess this is kind of inspired by an Emma Chamberlain video. Yeah, because she taste tested fries from different places, but we were thinking since it's Christmas Vlogmas. season, we could taste test different holiday shakes. We're Prepare for your stomach to have a wild ride. Oh, I'm not finishing everyone. <laughs> really, we're doing just the Lord's work for all of you. You can go immediately to the to best. The best. They don't have the eggnog shake here. This video is canceled. <gasps> no ice cream, McFlurry, Sunday or milkshake. Um, I guess. Do you have any like holiday things? Do a holiday part. Okay, can we do uh, two of those? Anything else? Oh, that's it. Okay, well this is- Oh my god! <laughs> what did I hit? Thank you so much. Pull the pies, please. I didn't mean to be mean to the drive through man, but we pulled up specifically for shakes and there was a massive sign that said, no shakes, McFlurries, or ice cream. We've been wanting to do Vlogmas for so long and nobody's ever executed. Oh my god, it's sprinkled. <laughs> Why is there butter in the middle? Oh, fun fetty topping with a hard outer shell. Are you ready? It sort of just wow. tastes like nothing. No, it tastes like a sugar cookie. Sugar cookie? But one that needs to be decorated. They needed to inject If they the... injected this with frosting, I think we'd be doing better. Okay, well mine is simply hollow. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Let me see the inside of that. I mean, yours is like closed with stuff. This looks like something that a teenage boy would like stick his junk in. Oh in. my god. <laughs> it is warm. That would be an interesting evening. An OnlyFans outbreak with the McDonald's pie. Now that is what this is useful <laughs> for. We're at Jack in the Box, and when I Googled Christmas shakes, Jack in the Box is in like the press for all of them. You must have gone on like a press tour. Can you imagine if this was just such a flaw? Can I get a few? Do you guys have any of the holiday shakes? Sure? Any of the holiday shakes? No, not right now. Oh. Yeah. What do we do? Should we just Yeah. Never mind, thank you. Woo! Wow, I guess fast food isn't in the Christmas spirit yet. Seriously, we have a 100% failure rate. There's a car. She can't wait to get her holiday <laughs> shake and she's about to be more upset. So far, all you can get is a McDonald's pie to make your only fan. A McDonald's pocket <laughs> for $1.99. Were they just lying? Are they not in the Christmas mood? What is the truth? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Attempt number three. Well, oh my gosh, they're, they're, have, they're promoting their Merry Milkshake. Mask up, everyone. Wow. These are quite the statement. I don't know if I can pull them off. I have like 10 other personalities in here, though. <laughs> oh, this is the best thing. You have a black car. The inside of it, it's really an efficient duster. Because, wow, that is smart. Yeah, I have 10 at home. I'll give you one. What can I get for you? Do you guys just have the one holiday shake? Yeah. Can we get two smalls of those? It'll be $8.96. Thank you. Success one <laughs> of four. We have a 25% success rate. 25% success rate. Okay, it's cute. It's very cute. I would say size wise, it's a good small. This is, yeah, this is the perfect size shape. Oh, I love these. Aren't these like soaked in acid or something? What? You can keep them in a jar for like 10 years. I don't know, let me try the whipped cream. Mm. What was it called? Peppermint bark? I think a peppermint chip. It's thick, which is exactly what I like in my shakes. I like it everything thick. Wow. Mm. This it is, is thick and it is good. It tastes like a cherry shake more than a mint chip shake. I think these are strawberry. Oh, yeah, this is strawberry for sure. Our 25% success rate is back to zero. I'm not gonna waste these. I'm gonna put them in my freezer at home and <laughs> eat them for nights at a time. <laughs> the world really doesn't want us to be in the Christmas spirit. At least we're getting a beautiful tour of the city. Thank you <laughs> Thank so much. Thank you. You too. I forgot to ask for a spoon. From our Ooh, previous shake. I'm shakes. just happy we get another cherry. Our peppermint shake. Oh my God. An almond that I was saving for a snack. Now this 
is a holiday tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. Strawberry, mm -mm -mm. we don't oh like her. This. It's crunchy. Real chocolate chip realness inside of this one. Tastes like, I don't know. Oh, descriptive. <laughs> People are definitely gonna come get this shake. And Chick fil A's like, no, nah, take it out of the video. God, message of the day. Spark hope and light the way. The chocolate chunks are really mm. perfect. And then it has the slight bits of candy cane in it. So it's crunchy, but the chocolate chunks are soft. So they melt in your teeth while you're crunching on the peppermint. And it's really an all around experience. This is like an all in vacation. Like an all for one, one for all. I'm ready to give it a solid eight. Only because I don't know what else is out on out there on the market. I reserve my right to change the rating at any time. Keep my nine rating because this is simply fantastic. Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to calling this a nine either. It's all there for me. It gives me everything I need inside of a shake. Mm -mm -mm. That is what happiness is made of until I feel sick in a couple of hours. <laughs> wow, that just lifted my mood. I was feeling a little midday slump until I ate that. Okay. Now I'm ready to party. We're trying to hit up Shake Shack, so you gotta go left. You could go, not right now. <laughs> Gee, thanks. After drinking that, I think now I'm in the spirit to get a full on Christmas tree. <laughs> that just made everything different in my life. I'm gonna cancel my therapist appointment tomorrow after I drink that, seriously. Oh my God, now that I know that this is a drive-through, RIP, because is I, it? oh. Oh. No, it's not. No. <laughs> Never mind, I'm back to life. I love Shake Shack. I would say that's my favorite fast food place of the year. The cheese fries, oh my God, I dream about them. Good contest would be Shake Shack cheese fries versus In-N-Out animal fries. Oh yeah, that would be. Did you see that they opened In-N-Out's in Colorado and there was a 12 <laughs> hour line? People could have just driven to the next state <laughs> over. It. Oh my God, they have three. Candy cane marshmallow, chocolate spice, and Christmas cookie. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. You, you too. too. These look scrum diddly umptious. What's this one? Christmas cookie? This one, that one's Christmas cookie. And this one is peppermint, but with a twist because it's peppermint marshmallow. That is gorgeous. The color is like really nice. Mmm. I'm a fan of whatever preservatives they have in that. Mm -mm -mm. Very good, but it has a lot of syrup. Like it's dense with the peppermint flavor. I feel like they could have done a pump less. Kind of oversaturated, but I would still eat it for sure. I don't taste the marshmallow. No. Which I'm a little disappointed by since they had to throw it in the name. And I don't know if anyone asked for the marshmallow, so they might as well just take that out of the advertisement. Let me try Christmas cookie. Oh, see, I am a cookie girl. Simply stunning. 2020 runway ready this shake is. These are thinner shakes, that's for sure. Which... I hate it. I hate everything about it. Ugh. Ugh I hate it. I think. Let me try it again. It's just so strong and like... <laughs> that tastes like straight aspartame. I am floored. I'm gonna say it. Shake Shack shakes, not great. Uh, not great. It doesn't mean to gag at things. Didn't Charlie and Emilio gag at something and everyone got mad at her? Gosh. I love it. I would honestly give it a three. A. It tastes like raw sugar cookie dough batter and honestly, then some on steroids. Plus a pump of aspartame. Aspartame? Or asper or whatever the fake sugar is, plus a pump of high fructose corn syrup. Ugh, I might have to wash that down with some Chick fil A scrum diddly umptiousness. Shake Shack delivers quality food. Their shakes just aren't our. Oh preference. my god, Shake is in the name. Call it Good Chicken Shack or something. <laughs> Yikes. I think I remember having one of their chocolate shakes and it was pretty good. Peas Fry Shack. <laughs> Burger Shack. I don't understand the Shake Shack branding because that shake could have killed me in my sleep. Yeah, we, okay, there's a brand right there, Morgan. She says, what is that brand doing there? Okay, second McDonald's of the day. And really what inspired the whole idea Whoa. was their eggnog shake. Interesting decor. The whole purpose of this was to get an eggnog shake because that is Christmas. Can I help you? Hi, um, do you guys have the eggnog shakes? The what? Eggnog shakes. 
Uh, come again? Do you like any Christmas Shit. ice cream things yet? We have ice cream, only the holiday pies. Uh, uh, never mind then, thank you. He thought that I was from a different planet. Do you guys have the peppermint Oreo shake? No. I guess we'll have to change the title to No One Celebrates Christmas Anymore. <laughs> I'm too old for this. I'm tired. <laughs> he went to Starbucks. Now I can try their whip. Uh, their frost, what is it called? Oh my gosh. Frosting. <laughs> Another day. We're gonna have a weird oh, I film see what you all say. over your mouth. Ooh. Hello. It's supposed to be the peppermint. So this is comparable to the last two shakes that we've had. Out of the 6,000 places we've been, three have successful peppermint drinks. Well, I guess this isn't a milkshake. It's a frappuccino. Well, this isn't fair. I was expecting what we had had previously. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's good. It's not a milkshake. It's no. a it's a coffee with peppermint, peppermint. flavor. <laughs> I mean, I do stand. Like, I do think it's really good. It's just different than the actual milkshakes. If you want a little bit of coffee, I highly yeah. recommend. Like, if, if you're you thinking about coffee, then it's good. Better than the Shake Shack, that's for sure. Would have loved to compare McDonald's, Burger King. They are apparently not feeling festive. This is kind of my speed though, I like it. Well, I'm excited Sorry. that you're vlogging. I'm excited for Vlogmas and your brand new channel because <laughs> I like watching Vlogmas. I watch a lot of girls just live their everyday life. Oh my God, let's just do all the old trends and try to bring them back. What are you gonna talk about on the sip? Do you wanna plug your podcast oh, to yeah. Vlogmas? Go watch my podcast. I'll have a Christmas tree soon enough. Happy Vlogmas, everyone. Our first ever. <laughs> And possibly last. We'll see if we survive. Oh my gosh, if you make it one day, that would be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll at least make it two. Come on. I don't okay, I know that this is the part you've been waiting for. So, oh my gosh, not my vanity. I just have so many things. Look how fast I can become a different person. Seriously. Hi. This might be my giveaway look. This could be like Susan, who's in charge of the giveaway. But like when I want to be me, this is me. This is real. This is me. If you're coming from my video that I posted yesterday, which I'm assuming you are, we got some fun things that are intact, I promise. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not usually like a crazy spirited holiday person, but this year I'm feeling jazzy. So I thought since this is a new channel and we're doing Vlogmas and Christmas is about giving, um, we could do some like periodical giveaways throughout the month. And now we will direct to Susan, who will tell you the rules and regulations, which there isn't many because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's the thing. I live alone, so I spend an abundance amount of time by myself. So what I've been doing since the coronavirus lockdowns is I've started playing <laughs> the Nintendo Switch. And I've never been like a gamer. I literally know nothing about video games. I used to play Cooking Mama on Nintendo DS, but I don't know what happened to it. So now I'm like severely addicted to Animal Crossings. I know that some people said that I had like a dream code that I could share with you. Um, I've never gone to the dream lady because honestly she gives me nightmares, but I will find my dream code and link it down below if you want to come hang. I have two Nintendo Switches, a blue one and a pink one. Both are adorable. Actually it says turquoise and coral if you want to get technical with it. With the blue one, I got Super Mario Odyssey, which I didn't know if I was going to be into because I thought it was going to make me dizzy, but then I finished the whole thing in like two days and my brother was like, you're insane. And I was like, I know. Okay. So the blue one comes with Super Mario Odyssey, which is a fun time. The pink one, which is so cute. And it comes with the ever iconic Animal Crossing. Isabel, the little bitch with the scrunchie, icon, seriously, unbelievable. The most important women in my life are Ellen Pompeo, from Grey's Anatomy, Cookie, my cat, and Isabel from Animal Crossing. So those are my Nobel Peace Prize candidates and maybe my mom. I really don't know if there's like rules and regulations to like a giveaway. So if I send you this and the government starts asking questions, just you know nothing about it. Let's make this super simple. If you wanna win Pink and Miss Animal Crossings, um, subscribe to this vlog channel and leave a comment on this video telling me what you're most looking forward to when COVID ceases to exist, or is at least 
less annoying for all the people in the world. Whoever will win Blue and Mario Odyssey will come from Instagram. I'm gonna post um, my first Instagram picture tomorrow in a half a year. This same picture that's the icon of this channel, I'll have posted it today by the time you're watching it. Follow me on Instagram and comment on that picture telling me the same thing, what you're most looking forward to for the future once COVID gets better or what you're looking forward to in life in general. And just so there's time, I'm gonna select two people on Friday, December 11th, which is a week from today, so I can get it to you before Christmas. And yeah, that's it, I'm excited. I just read through the comments from my video today and read some of the DMs that um, people were sending me and I just wanted to say truly thank you to anyone who takes time out of your day to say something nice. Um, it really made me feel welcome and comforted and it just made me really excited to know that people were excited for a new channel and to do vlogmas. Like, I didn't know if I was gonna post that video and everyone was gonna be like, absolutely, no, we don't want vlogmas from you at all, period. So I just wanted to say thank you for all the people who support me even when times are tough. I'm supporting you back. Oh, okay, that is it for tonight. I'm gonna shut up now and go play with Isabel. Yeah, bye.